This is AIR, Artists in Residence Broadcasting, coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, I'm John Cullum, and this is my wife, Emily Frankel. Hello, John Cullum. Hello, Emily Frankel. How are you, John Cullum? I'm fine. Uh, we could just... Well, well you know what I time. want to talk about today for my blog, Ems Talkery? Yeah. I'd like to go back to the days when we were living in Malibu, mm-hmm. and you were commuting mm-hmm. to Redmond, Washington, which was where you were shooting actually most of the scenes for Northern Exposure. That's right, mm-hmm. all of them. We had. A, what do you remember? What do I remember? Um, um, the commuting. No, the commuting. The commuting. Well, it was. Uh, it was not a bad commute. It was about two and a half hours, and it was easy enough to do, but. Uh, I mean, it sounds easy to do, but it, it was a little disorganizing, dis- disorienting. Part of the problem was from... of getting out of Malibu, when you had to get back up to get the plane to go to Redmond, you would come into huge traffic and you had to leave awfully early on Sunday afternoon to get there for Monday. I remember that. Right. Woo! Scary. Yeah. But I remember the whole rapport you had with the cast, Rob and Janine. John Corbett, yeah. Barry. Yeah. Do you miss them? Well, not really, but uh, I mean, I think about them every now and then, and uh, I try to keep up with them as much as I can. You did a wonderful thing for me. John was producing my play, Shattering Pains, in a theater in Seattle. Right. But before we did it, we did my very first reading of my play, and John had John Corbett, mm-hmm. who had never read any plays before. That was very strange. He was playing a dog. He was playing the dog. And Barry Coburn's wife was playing my part. And were you playing your part when they were reading? I guess I did. Uh, And did Rob play anything? No, Rob Brown. I can't remember. No. um, Did Janine play anything? The cat. She played the cat. Did she? I think so. Hmm. Anyway, it was a... We don't have a copy of it, so you can't see it. No, it was a... Very, very high priced. But, really. but the times when we were <laughs> part of the cast, I really was not part of the cast. I was on the outskirts, and John was absolutely involved in Northern Exposure. The cast, the crew, the plot, the story. Yeah, well, I tried as much as I could to make you part of, to feel at home up there, but it, it never, we never could, um, we never did. It didn't feel right up there. We lived in a long, narrow guest house on a man's estate, a huge estate, with rose gardens and swimming pools and all kinds of things. And every day there was a gardener. I'm talking about how many acres do you think it was? Six or seven acres? Well, I don't know. It was a big Enormous. Yeah, it was all fenced in. So we lived in a long, skinny house, which we furnished from uh, Salvation Army Furniture. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. It yeah. was nice. Yeah. And you put paintings that you bought from the Salvation Army up all <laughs> over the place. Or the ones that you brought from home <clears throat> that you've done. Did I have them there? I don't remember. I had one there. or two up there, I know. So what did you like about Seattle? Well, Seattle is a good theater town. That's why it was a good idea to try to do your play up there. And it was also it's also a gorgeous um, place where, where they have... Um, uh, beautiful uh, uh, mountains, and uh, you know a, a wonderful. Uh, it, it's a it's a, a seaport town, and uh, there. And, and the, it was really quite nice there, except that I found that I missed the sunshine. Well, you also missed your log cabin. We were living. Talk about a different kind of lifestyle. You were. You and I were living in a log cabin in Malibu which uh, uh, sat up on top of a mountain, and, and uh, you couldn't have asked for a more idyllic kind of setting. Oh, John, we didn't mention Peg. We oh. lo- you love Peg, yeah. and she's gone, but we, you missed her a lot. And you got along very, very well with Rob, who was a strong, clear-headed actor. Yeah, that's An true. actor's actor. Yeah. And I like John Corbett. We auditioned together, and it was fun. Uh, the first time I met John. And don't forget your wife, the other woman. 
Oh yeah, Cynthia there was a Garrett. lot of talk about you and her, she and your private parts, yeah. which was a little <laughs> disturbing to me. But. I wonder if we shouldn't explain that. Anyway. Well, there was a lot of talk about circumcision, I believe, wasn't it? Well, there was there was one of the first episodes that was uh, me uh, waking up in bed with her, and of course you, we were covered by the sheets and all that stuff, but. Uh, she uh, she looked down under the sheet and she said something to the effect that it, it, it's a, it's a turtleneck, <laughs> and, <laughs> and the, that that hit all the headlines. Oh yeah, that was not a lot of fun for me. I had members of my faraway family asking me about my husband's other woman. Yeah. Well, John, <laughs> let's get away from Seattle. Okay, let's get back to New York, and uh, we'll see you next week. Okay, bye. Bye bye. This is AIR. See you next week.